Well, hello everybody. This is Linda from North Central Texas. Uh, just wanted to come out here and show you the yard. I mean, uh, it looks like rain all day today, but it hasn't rained at all. Uh, I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but I want to show you what I've been doing. I cleaned up my patio here. I moved all of those uh, pots that I had my basil in. I moved them out in the garden. Um, put one over here that's got some stuff in it. And this, I don't know. It was the herb that was sent to me, but it was all dried up. Even the roots, so I don't know if it's going to come back or not. But it's in the pot. So it's planted. We'll see if it comes back or not. Here's that little tomato bush. It's pretty... A pretty tomato bush to be this time of year. There goes the school bus. I didn't realize it was time for the bus. And see there at my rose bush that came back from the roots and it's got uh, buds at the top. Look at that. It's got two buds at both tops over there. That one over there I think is dead in that pot. So I'm probably going to be pulling that out as soon as I get a replacement to go in there. Or I may just pull the pot out and put the pot somewhere else because I got all this stuff growing here. And that is a flower that comes back every year. So I might just take the pot out and leave that there. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. But the crepe myrtle... It's still alive. It's put out a few leaves. A bird bath. And I'm pretty sure the birds use it. I haven't actually seen them on it, but I've seen signs of where they've been on it. They actually broke the little perches off. They would light on the perches, the heavy birds, to get water. And they were just glued on with super glue or the hot glue. And they broke them off because I found them laying down inside the plate there. So I just took them out. But I see tomatoes. Look at this. I see little tomatoes out right there. So I'll get a couple of tomatoes off of that bush, I guess, before it freezes again. Check these pods, because I don't want them busting open and dropping the seeds out here. Here's little buddy. You gonna go on my garden tour with me, little buddy, huh? Are you? He always likes to walk around with me. And my greens are doing pretty good in this pot up here. I don't mind planting greens in my pots on my patio because they look just as pretty as a regular plant does. My marigolds are blooming. Look how pretty that is. That's just as pretty as any plant as you want to plant in a pot. My pineapple tree is living <laughs> we're supposed to get some more rain the ground's still damp but we are supposed to get more rain pretty soon so we'll see and there's that rose bush that come up from the roots remember i cut it back and it's come up by the roots from this where i cut it off and there's all my irises yeah and i still got to move some irises because they're getting too close to the rose bushes I think what I might do instead of planting another rose bush right here, if this one doesn't come back, you know, that one, it just, I don't know about it. This looks like it's still alive, so I'm going to leave it and see if anything comes back from the root. 
if it doesn't by spring then I think I might dig it up or maybe leave it there and just clean up everything else around here and transplant some of those irises down here. Continue on with some irises just, you know, to give my rose bushes some more space. I don't want my rose bushes to be crowded in by the irises and they're getting pretty close. I mean, I don't mind them being that close, but if I leave them, they're going to keep getting closer and closer because those irises will multiply. So what I think I'm going to do is pull up some right along the edge here. And at this end, right along the edge. And take them and move them down here. And I can plant a row of them here and plant a row of them right there until I see what the rose bush is going to do. Because I don't want to pull it up if there's any chance it'll come back from the root. See, all of these are putting out new growth from the root down there, which is good. And the tops still look pretty good, too. They're all putting out roses. And see, that one is living really pretty. It's put out a bunch of more leaves. But that's the only one of the three that I planted right here that survived so far but hey one out of three is good <laughs> i'll take it and i just don't know about this one don't know at all and i need to take my drain pipe and put it back over here Put my tripod down so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing over here. That right little buddy huh look you there yeah i got a message from one of the subscribers wanting to know she saw both of the videos that i posted the shorts on the cat uh, on little buddy and his girlfriend but there was only one in each video because they weren't here at the both both the same time this time and she said well which one is little buddy i said i only see one I said, well, you see the video with the, the cat with the white. <laughs> you know, he's got white on his tail. He's got white on his neck under there. He's got a white nose. He's got white feet. <laughs> I said, that's little buddy. I said, you see the cat that's all red tabby or orange tabby with the collar. And that's the other cat. I don't know who that one belongs to. I just figured it was a neighbor somewhere around here, but I don't know who, who really it belongs to. It's got a collar on it, but its uh, I don't think it's, there's a name or anything on it. I would put a collar on little buddy, but I'm afraid he wouldn't wear one. I don't think he's ever had one on. I've been putting uh, flea and tick stuff on him, that kind that you put on the back of his neck and it's supposed to last for two or three months and I need to get more but yeah this is little buddy he's the one with the white white chest white neck got a dot of white on his nose he's got white feet <laughs> can't mistake him for the other one because that other cat does not have a bit of white on him at all see how pretty little buddy is yeah, he's got white on him. <laughs> yeah, I moved my, um, the pots that I had basil and stuff in off of the patio. There's one there, and I planted marigold seeds in it. I've got 
two of them over here that I put uh, marigold seeds in. I got one there, the knockout rose container. That's one that I bought a rose bush in many years ago, and I just kept the pot, and I've been reusing the pot. But I planted marigold seeds in it, and I said if they come up fine, and if they don't, that's all right too. But look at my uh, Swiss chard. Isn't that a pretty plant? I mean, even if you didn't eat it, it's pretty to plant in a pot just for uh, ornamental aspects. And there's my uh, marigolds right there. They're fixing to bloom. And I haven't picked any of my peppers yet again, but, you know, they're getting pretty big, so I'll be picking them pretty soon. And my clematis is starting to go up the trellis. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Finally, since it cooled off a little bit and we got more moisture in the ground and in the pots, you know, the dirt. Ain't that right, little buddy? He loves giving garden tours. He does. And see, I got two of the pots there that I had basil in. But I moved them off the patio, moved them back here, and put marigold seeds in them. I hope they come up so they can give me some more seeds. And that uh, basil there is trying to come back. And there goes a sunflower trying to open. That's kind of pretty. And there's the lettuce that we planted. Isn't that pretty? It's making a really pretty head of lettuce. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. And who would have thought you could have taken that and replanted it? You know, we planted uh, cabbage that way. Now we did a lettuce that way. But look how pretty the greens are. Sunflower. My marigolds are doing pretty good here. Got one in each pot. So I'll have to watch them and get the seeds out and see they're putting out sunflowers here I planted a marigold down there <laughs> it'll get pretty big I don't remember what I planted in that, but I don't think it's done anything, don't look like. Got greens there. Greens there. Got it there. Yeah, that's coming back to life since I harvest did my big harvest not long ago. And I put the cut stuff there to kind of Give it some mulch. It'll break down. And look at those peppers. I mean, it's amazing what a day will do. So I'm going to be harvesting them. And I got one over here. It's down in there. And I got some started over here. That was melons or something. They're not doing good because they don't do too good in too cold a weather. There's greens there. And I probably need to plant some greens or um, marigolds or something in this. And the okra's still growing. <laughs> See, I don't think this is going to do anything. It's getting too cold on it. Because that's a melon of some kind. My okra. The okra there. <laughs> okra there. It's not doing anything. And that one's not doing much. But my peppers here are 
Still putting out peppers. Look at that. One up there. One down in there. I got some started over here. The marigolds are blooming up there. So I'll be getting some marigold seeds. And I can't remember if I planted marigold seeds in that or not. <laughs> I probably did. What do you think, little buddy? Huh? <laughs> what do you think? I need to come out here and open my gas tank and check my gas level. I keep forgetting to do it. But my mint is looking really good. My peppermint. My flower, my roses there. Yeah, little buddy loves the garden. And that rose bush has been, always been doing fantastic. I can probably get me some cuttings off of this now and see if I can root them. They might do better than the first cuttings that I got. Let's check on the cuttings in here. I've got clematis in a pot here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the cuttings. And I took three cuttings, these two and that one, off of those gold roses that I got from Anonymous Subscriber. I cut a little bit up off the stem and put them down in there just, just out of curiosity to see if they would root. You're supposed to be able to root any of them that way, but I don't know. And I've been putting off a of watering because they kept saying we were going to get more rain. Look at that. You know, that's not a bell pepper. That's either a banana pepper or habanero or one of those long peppers. <laughs> Nothing much going on here but some greens. And look at there, my peas are trying to come back to life. Do you believe it? Can you believe that? I don't know if it'll do anything, but it's sure coming back to life and it's climbing up that trellis. The other one's died off. My greens are being okay. And this type of a pea, I'm not sure, I, I think it's like a bush bean. I mean, it's trying to grow and put out beans, but it's not doing a very good job of it. See? And I got some over here. And got one there. <laughs> I got a big ant on there, too. Right there. Got some over here. I might let them go to seed and just replant some. And see, I got a bunch of them up here. Buddy, you bumping my tripod. Got a bunch up there. I'd probably be able to pick them and have a mess just for one person. <laughs> see, he stays right at my feet when I'm walking around in the garden. He loves walking. He loves walking around in the garden. He does. A tomato plant, they're still holding on. Cucumber vine gave up. But the peppers, look. Peppers are loving this weather. They truly love this weather. Look at that. They got some up there, little ones, but they're growing. And there goes the pepper there. Still a little, but it's growing. Here. And up here. And look down here. There's two of them. And they're weighting this limb down. So I'm going to have to start picking those pretty soon. There's one there. There's one over here. 
There's a little bitty one up here. <laughs> so they're still growing. And that poor rose bush there, I think, is gone. I'm just going to have to pull that out. and I can use my pot to plant some vegetables in, I guess, for next year. And look at this. I think I got me a celery. I don't know if that's a celery or what it is, but it came back voluntarily from, I think, one that I had planted in there. Yeah, tastes like celery. May not be, but it tastes like it. <laughs> Walking onions, peppers. <laughs> So they're still putting out peppers here too. They're little, but look at these. I think these are the hot ones, the little bitty habaneros maybe. They turn red and after they turn red, they are extremely hot. So we'll see. Because this little plant's full of them, and they're, they're turning red, so I got two that have turned red already. And look at this. It's full of peppers. Full on that side, on this side. It's like a little Christmas tree. <laughs> And it's still putting out blooms for more. And my poor eggplant just never has done anything. It did good last year, but not this year. Oh, look at there. Pepper there. We got some little ones here and here. So I might get enough more, you know, more peppers to make a little bit more cow cowboy candy. I don't know. And this is unbelievable. This poor little plant is still putting out little Riella squash. I don't think any of them are going to really make them, make it, but they're, it's trying. If the weather was better, I'd have some nice little yellow squash off of that. Oh, and look at there. There's a, that big old bell pepper that I didn't get that's way back under there. You see it in the corner? <laughs> it's over there in the corner of that gray tote. I kept saying I was going to go over there and pick it, and I never have gotten to it. I might make some peppered steak, and if I do, I'm going to need some of those green bell peppers. But look at this. Yeah, it's way down there in the corner. Way over there. I'll have to pick it from this side. <laughs> if I should pick it yet though I think I'll leave it there another day or two as long as it don't freeze I'm gonna leave it there another day or two and let it get a little bit bigger you see I've been adding stuff to my compost pile and I need to put more dirt on top Something got in there and pulled that piece of cornbread out and the ants are all over it. Must have been a squirrel or something.
I can harvest plenty of green onions. And this is a pot I can put something in. <coughs> but the greens are looking good. And see the worms are just eating these cabbages up. And I've sprayed them. It don't do no good. I'm just going to throw them in the compost. Right there. That'll make some good... Uh... Here, I'm going to set it down. And then we'll pull the other one out because it ain't going to do nothing. The worms are just going to eat it up. Compost, and that is some good rich dirt right there that I can plant some else in. I mean, look at this, and that was all from compost and leaves. It's kind of wet down in the bottom, but it's getting dry at the top. So if it don't pretty soon rain, I'm gonna have to get out here and water stuff. See, all of these buckets have really good compost and stuff that's broken down. So they're going to be good to plant stuff in. I don't see any more. Here, let me put this down. <laughs> don't really see. worms on my cabbage but they had already done their damage already done the damage yeah they're getting back on there too let's get them off and Wait and see if it's going to rain because I don't want to spray these before it rains because it'll just wash stuff off. But these are my Jolly Green tree collards right here. And you know, I said I was going to break probably break this one in half or this one and start another one yeah I'm going to try to get the wor what worms I can see off of them with my hands and then uh If it rains, I'll wait till after it rains and then I'll uh, spray them. But see, I could break these stems off, these stalks in half, and I could have three or four more 
tree collards. But you just got to keep them sprayed. The bugs will not leave them alone if you don't keep them sprayed. They will be all over them. see any more yeah there's one but they've destroyed these leaves already it's really not much of anything left of the leaves for them to get Yeah, little buddy, they just destroy my poor tree collards, don't they? But any of the stuff that I break off and drop down in the bucket will be fertilizer to the tree collard. And I grew it mainly because I wanted to see how it grew and if I could grow it here. And I can, but I don't know. I might have to put it back in the um, greenhouse where I keep heat to it to keep it alive this winter. And I might, like I said, go ahead and break it off and start another one. Cut it off right about I don't know, here, maybe. I mean, I could probably go ahead and do it. I should have brought something out here to cut it with, but I didn't. It breaks easy enough. And I might just have more than one to <laughs> put in the greenhouse. I think I'm going to put this over here. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep it alive through the winter months. That'll give me three. And like I said, I could break these off and start new ones. And you can control your height of your tree collard this way as well. You don't have to let them get 10 foot tall or taller. You can cut them off and keep them as low as you want to where you can manage them. I just fall down on the job and I don't keep them sprayed the way I should. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's onions or what it is in here. Hmm. It smells like an onion or maybe a garlic. It's probably an onion. <laughs> I don't know what kind of onion, but I'll leave that there. I'm going to break this off, I think. Yeah, it's better to have something to cut it with. This one off. Don't do like I do. Go get you something to cut it with. 
Don't just break it. <laughs> These are still wet. The dirt is. So I really don't have to water them right now. So I bought two tree collars and I'm going to end up with one, two, three, four, five, seven of them. Because I'm going to break that off. I'm going to break this one off. And I don't like that leaf there. So I'll have this one. And see, I didn't cut it too well. Don't do like I did. Get something and cut it. Don't just break it off. But I'm replacing my cabbages with my collards. My tree collards. I really need to put more dirt in here and I am as soon as I can get compost out of the compost bin you go there and rinse my hands off <laughs> I started out and these tree collards are not cheap these jolly green tree collards I don't remember what I paid for them but it was not cheap and that's the reason I only bought two and you get two stalks they're not even rooted yet and I could probably break this one off and make another plant at the top and leave that one at the bottom but I think I'm going to leave it for right now because I want to see what this is it smells like an onion of some kind. I don't know. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tree collards now. Or I will have out of buying just two of them. And if I really take care of them this summer, you know, if all of them will root, and I, hopefully they will. Um, if I think, keep on spraying them and taking care of them this summer. I should be able to have some pretty collard leaves to cook. And those collard leaves are the best thing in the world to make uh, wraps with, kind of like you do a cabbage roll. You can take a collard leaf and do the same thing. And, you know, that's what I did with several of the cabbage leaves that I had on my cabbage plants out here in the beginning of the summer before the worms started getting to them. But there you go. There's one there, one there, one over there, one there, one back there, one there that was originally, and one there. So that's seven tree collards now that I'll have from just buying two of them. And like I said, I didn't buy them to let them get tall as a tree. I want to keep them cut back to at least five feet. No taller than I am. I want to keep them cut short enough that I can handle them. And I want to show you what I did. I took the pan and the, the wire grate out of the grill. I left the wire grate in the very bottom. And that's the way I think I'm going to use it. I'm just going to put my bag over here with my potting soil in it or my compost or whatever I'm using. I'll put my pot over here that I'm going to be putting my soil in 
to plant. I can put a tray of plants up there or I can put a tray of plants here or something else to use. But that's what I that's the way I'm going to use it, I think. And I think it's going to work out the best to not close the holes up. I'm just going to leave those holes open. That way if I spill water when I water and stuff like that, because I can put my dirt in my pot, I can plant my plant in my pot, and I can water it right here. And the water will run out the bottom. It's not going to stay in the bottom of this. So I think it'll work out good that way. But anyway, that's what I have planned. <laughs> and it still looks good, y'all. It's rained on it several times, but doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter at all. And still, I haven't harvested my beets. I really need to come out here and get these out of here. I don't know why I haven't done that already. Probably because I'm not ready to cook them. I don't know. But look at the peppers. The peppers. <laughs> the peppers here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have enough peppers for another harvest that I'll be able to make some more cowboy relish or something with it. I really think I will. These are trying to put out more peppers. My greens are still looking good. See? <laughs> and this one's got little bitty peppers on it. And there's little buddy. <laughs> and I don't know if I showed you, but I cleaned up my pots here. And I think what I'm going to do is see if I can't plant greens in it this year. I may plant some winter greens in there. I'm just not sure yet. If I get some of the other ones that I can transplant... I might put some in there, but I really need more soil. They don't really have enough soil in them. And I think that's my problem with a lot of my pots and my um, buckets is I don't have enough soil in them. And look at there. Bell pepper. I think this is, I think two of my lums will live. This one and the one at the corner of the yard, the one up there on that table doesn't look like it's going to make it. But look at the mandevilla. <coughs> the clematis. Look, isn't that pretty? <laughs> I don't know if I'm showing it to you. We got a pretty purple one up there. And my hollyhocks, they still haven't bloomed. But look how pretty they're looking. Look how pretty that is. Man, if it had flowers on it, it would be beautiful. Hmm. This one, I just don't know why it's not coming back to life. I mean, the mums are living in here good. So, I mean, the, the marigolds are. I've got four marigolds in there. And that mum should be putting out some more green leaves, but it's not. A lot of my plants out here are trying to survive. A lot of them have gotten green again. I got two rose bushes. Look at this. The one that we planted this summer. It's not very big, but it's still putting out roses. That right, buddy. Huh? Little buddy. 
<laughs> yep, that's little buddy. He's got white feet, white on his neck, white on his nose. That other cat that has the collar on is an orange tabby, but it's a darker color than little buddy. And the other one has no white at all on it. See his nose? He's got a white spot on his nose. And see, these crepe myrtles look like they're surviving. This little one that I planted this past year. I guess it likes this spot. That big one is living. The little one there. But the one at the corner of the yard is just not... Not putting out leaves in this rose bush. I don't know why it died back. It was living good. I mean, it still may come back from the root. I don't know. But all these other flowers, this greenery, it comes back every year. You can't get rid of it. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to let it just fill the rock garden up, I think. It can spread all the way down, all the way down around the rose bushes, all the way. At least it'll help keep the grass out. That's the way I figure it. See, it's already spread down here into these flowers, <laughs> which that's okay. I don't guess I'll ever get that old dead one out there. It's probably got roots to China that are dead. But I figure if I leave it in there long enough, it'll just rot and decay and fall apart. <laughs> But it's time for me to put up my rose, my, um, look at this. Look at all these seeds. They're getting ready to drop. Some of them have dropped, but look what's in my hand. Those are all seeds. Those things spread around the yard, and that's why I don't want to cut the grass. <laughs> I've got too many flowers. <laughs> See, they're getting ready to drop. Look at those. Here. <laughs> I just let them fall and they can start more. I hope my blue ones come back this coming year that we're here. I should never have mowed them down. But see, it's just not putting out any new leaves. It looks dry as a bone. But they look like that a lot of times, and they still are alive. So I don't want to dig it up or pull it out yet. I want to give it the benefit of the doubt. Every chance to come back. Because those are not cheap when you buy them, so. And see, that mum there is coming back to life. It likes it here. Maybe it's because it's out in the sunshine. Maybe the one on that patio table needs to be out in the sun. I don't know. Maybe I'll move it and find out. Because I'm going to be putting a Christmas tree on that table anyway, so I'll be moving that pot. And see, every one of my rose bushes down this property line died. I don't have any hope that they'll come back. Keeping an eye on these bulbs because I don't want them to drop the seeds. I mean, they got hundreds of seeds in them bulbs. And see, I had mums over here and I just don't think they were getting enough sun. I know they didn't get enough water, so I'm not planting anything back over here except the moonflowers. I think the moonflowers will survive. They will for a while longer anyway, until it gets too, too cold on them. I'm gonna plant a marigold there. <laughs> So we'll see. I'm hoping 
it'll look good by next year. I've got a sunflower growing here. Uh, marigolds. That one fell over. Hmm. But if it rains, oh man, it'll give those a new lease on life. And look at these. Aren't they looking good? The one back there. Isn't that pretty? I just wish I'd had the bigger pots to put those in. And I had the base of my fountain completed. When I get it completed, it's going to have holes for bigger pots and it's going to be bigger around. But I got to get the concrete. And I'm not anxious to mess with it because you, it's at least 50 pound bags. And I'm not even supposed to mess with a 50 pound bag or anything. Ain't that right, little buddy? <laughs> he says, Where are you going? He says, Where are you going? <laughs> he says, Just where are you going? He wanted some loving. Yeah, he wanted some loving. Yes, he did. He wanted some loving. <laughs> well, look at there. He figures I've come back over here. I'm going to go in the house and feed him. <coughs> Sorry about that, but I've been walking around the yard br <coughs> breathing this air and it's going to make me cough. But he says, well, it don't bother me. I don't have allergies. <laughs> he said, I can walk around as much as I want to, and it doesn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, this is little buddy. He's the kid cat with the white on him. The other cat, I don't know where it's from, but it does wear a collar, and it's all orange tabby. A deeper color than little buddy is. A darker orange, almost a red. And I think the lady in the comments said Goldie. Like it might have been her cat. <laughs> I mean, if she lives somewhere close around here, it may, it may be her cat. I don't know. But this is little buddy right here. All of my YouTubers know this is little buddy. Ain't that right, little buddy? Huh? Yeah. He knows his name. He knows his name. He knows his name. <coughs> I wish I didn't cough so much in my film, my videos, but I can't help it. Oh, you're going to get up on the table? That's one of your favorite places to get. Yeah, that's one of your favorite places to get. You think you can get closer to me up here, huh? You think you can get closer to me up here? I ordered some, some flea and tick spray stuff, <clears throat> but 
but I forgot to change the address and it sent it to the wrong address. <laughs> so I didn't get it. It was delivered, but I didn't get it. So I had to reorder it and make sure I changed the address back to mine. So I should get it tomorrow. And we'll put it on little buddy so he don't get fleas and ticks on him. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, let me see if we can get the legs down on this tripod so I can put it down. I don't know what time it's getting to be. <clears throat> Yeah, I sat here so I could pay some attention to you. Yeah. It's not shedding as bad as it did for a while there. Thank goodness. Where are you going? I got your tail. <laughs> I had your tail. Yeah, I had your tail. He likes to get in my lap, but he's so big, I don't have a big enough lap for him to lay in. He slides off my lap. Well, you got to come back this way if you want me to pet you. I'm not going to chase y'all around the table. <laughs> He's a sweetheart, though. He is. He's a, such a sweet cat. Such a sweet kitty. <laughs> yeah, he's such a sweet kitty. <coughs> What do you think, huh? What do you think? Pretty green, greenish gold eyes. Well, I can't reach you over there. <laughs> I 
I can't reach you over there. I need to check the forecast and see if it's going to be raining anytime soon. I might need to put a little bit of water on my plants. Little buddy. Little buddy. Hey, little buddy. I can't reach you over there. I can't reach you over there. <laughs> yeah, I can't reach you over there if you want to be petted. I'm not going to chase you around the table. Yeah, I'm not going to pet chase you around the table. <laughs> oh, he's probably wanting to go inside. He probably wants to go inside and get him a snack. You want to go inside and get you a snack, huh? New you, little buddy? Huh? You want to go get you a snack? Isn't that sweet? Isn't that the sweetest kitty you've ever seen? <laughs> I think he is. <clears throat> you want to go in the si inside and get something to eat? Huh? Want to go inside and get something to eat? Let's see if he comes to the door. Yeah, I knew it. See right there? Let me see if I can get the door open. He's inside to get him something to eat. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get this camera set up so I can turn my hands loose. <laughs> 